Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you two Photoshop alternatives that are both free so you guys can use um, for your YouTube channels. Maybe you want to um, get into graphic design or you just want to design something simple for your banner or something like that or your thumbnails. Um, here are two free alternatives because I know a lot of people don't have Photoshop. I made this video. So if you want also a video on the top free video editors, um, hit that thumbs up button as well. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first alternative I have here is Pixlr. Um, the reason I chose Pixlr and the other alternative I'm going to talk about in a couple of minutes now is that they're both free and they both don't require downloading of any softwares. So it doesn't take up any space on your PC. Also, it's easy to use and there's a bunch of tutorials on both of them. So if you want to make a thumbnail, you can search up Pixlr thumbnail tutorial and it'll appear on YouTube because there's a bunch of them. I've actually made tutorials on both of these alternatives in the past, so if you guys want to check that out, it's in the description. I love using Pixlr, um, especially because it's easy to use. Um, you don't have to download anything, so I can you know, go on my friend's computer and just make a thumbnail very easily. It's very accessible. So basically, I'm just going to show you through it. Um, I won't show you how to make a thumbnail or anything, but I'll just show you through the um, site here. So you want to go on a Pixlr editor here, I'll link that in the description. And so basically, when you load the page, it's going to say create a new image. And that's what you want to press. And here it's similar to Photoshop. Um, it's basically the same thing as Photoshop. Uh, a little bit more simpler. The icons are maybe a little bit different, but um, the overall layout is the same and the features are practically um, identical. So right here, I'll type in 920 by 1080 for like an HD image here. And transparent background contents and press OK. And here I can, you know, type whatever I want. There's a bunch of these here. Steven Van. Um, it looks really nice. So I'm going to show a picture of a previous thumbnail I made with uh, Pixlr so you guys can see how much you can actually do with Pixlr. So you can press a new layer similar to Photoshop by just pressing that. You can also go to add layer mask and add layer styles. So maybe you want to add an inner glow similar to blending options on Photoshop. So um, as you can see, it has a lot of features here and there's a bunch of like erasers and like crop tools and um, adjustment layers like color balance, hue and saturation, exactly like Photoshop. And that's the reason I like it. So onto the second um, alternative, it's panzoid.com. I've also made a couple of tutorials, um, maybe like a year back on this and a lot of people like it. And it also has an intro maker here. So I'll link that in the description as well because I made a video on that. But here you want to press on background or three. And this is a lot more simpler. Um, it has a simpler approach. And the good thing about this website is it's particularly about YouTube. Like there's actually a template for YouTube thumbnails, YouTube avatars, and YouTube banners. So that's really cool. So as you can see, it's a lot more simpler, um, not as complex as Pixlr, but that's good for some people who want to like follow a template instead of uh, making it by themselves, like from scratch. So as you can see, you can choose templates here. There's a bunch of them. And you can also choose what type of um, image you want to make. So if you want a uh, YouTube one, that's a YouTube banner, YouTube channel avatar, you know what that is, YouTube thumbnail, and also a video frame, so a video overlay and Facebook cover, Twitter cover, stuff like that. And that's what I love about this website. Uh, it has everything built in and you don't have to really make it by yourself. Um, there's guidelines and stuff like that. So that's really cool. So here I can just like make a YouTube um, banner here. I can go to layer, upload an image to the background. And here you can add text and images. And so maybe you want banner. And you can choose like a cool font, maybe like this. And then you can also adjust the text size and just like make it bigger. Um, there's other stuff like images and, you know, overlays and stuff like that. And there's even like designs you can choose from here. So maybe you want to choose this. There it is. That's one of the templates. Um, there's also different overlays here. So you can actually make it like fade out um, from the bottom or from the top, um, from the center, stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, and just download your background right there and there it is. It's so easy, it's very simple. And these are the two alternatives you can use um, instead of Photoshop. They're free, they're accessible, and they're very easy to use. And there's a bunch of tutorials on them on YouTube, so um, so very easy to learn how to use. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did, help out, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.